The way this thing is angled, basically you can put it up against a wall and it'll project up to the wall, or you can put it up against a flat surface like a desk or a table and it'll project down onto the table. Once you do, it'll automatically sort of start to calibrate itself and sharpen it up. And once it's done, you have your projection, but here's the catch. It's a touchscreen projection. So this 10 point multi-touch element kinda unlocks this giant tablet experience anywhere you can find a flat surface, which you'll start to realize is like all over the place. And it's actually a lot more responsive than I thought it would be. Maybe it's because I've tried some pretty garbage gimmicky versions of this in the past, but this one is really good. Basically the limitation is you still gotta make sure you're not casting a shadow on the element you actually wanna touch. So if you wanna hit this button, for example, don't block the light from above it. You just gotta come from the other side of the light and touch it and it works perfectly. But once you get the hang of that, it's all green light. You can literally play multiplayer games 1v1 against people, whether it's tic-tac-toe or board games or pong or air hockey. We've tried all of them and they all work. And on top of all that, it's got a built-in battery. So the thing is pretty portable. So you don't have to find a plug everywhere you go. You can be on a, a train basically and just plop this thing down and start using it like a tablet. So now you can basically turn any surface into a giant gaming controller without the need of a phone or a tablet. I'm sure you've played Pong before, but you've probably never played it on your kitchen counter or on a table. And then in the US, there's some other dedicated AI integrated apps they've built with different themes. For example, there's an education feature where you can use physical objects, like actual plastic letters, to teach spelling because it uses image recognition from the cameras to tell if you've spelled something right or wrong. There's a kitchen feature called Future Kitchen that lets you project recipes onto your kitchen counter, for example, or your cutting board, and it guides you through cooking them on your counter. And it'll even use that camera to recognize ingredients you scan. There's also even a fitness app where in one direction it points the workout program video onto the wall, and then on the other side is the camera facing you, and it helps correct your form and count your reps and track your body. So really interesting stuff that's been benefiting from the AI engine.